Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Wilmer. Welcome back to the Prepare Forms tool in Acrobat Pro DC. So last time we covered just the basics of adding in all the fields and what they do. It's a pretty quick overview. Now we're going to be looking at some of the more advanced options on the right-hand side within Prepare Forms. So starting off, we're going to look at the Align, Center, Match Size, and Distribute tools. So basically, Align. So note that when we recall from last time, when we were adding in our second radio button, we had these little, if I can click it, we had these little lines that were sticking out. They aren't quite appearing here. Anyway, we had these lines that were sticking out, these dashed lines that we used to like line up the second radio button with the first one. And that's pretty handy for, you know, just eyeballing the lining up. But one way to guarantee that two things are perfectly aligned is just to click and select them, and then you can just align them in any way you want. Generally, for this particular example, I like to click align horizontally. So essentially, we just imagine that there's a horizontal line sticking out of the first radio button, like this. And our objective is we want the second radio button to be on that line. So we click align horizontally. And boom, just like that, it does what we want it to. And all the other align options work in a similar fashion. Then up next, we have the center options. So we can center them vertically within the page, center them, center them horizontally. Or we can do center both ways. So, oh. so if we did this, and then we centered both, then it would be like that. But notice they're not aligned because we took them. I took them out of alignment. We can also match their size. Notice that the second one, I kind of changed the size of it. So we can match the size of them. So we can match the height, match the width, and match the width and height. And then finally, we can also distribute them. So we can distribute some items vertically. So this will... Since we've selected this text field and these two radio buttons, basically it will take the topmost element and the bottommost element, so the top element being this text field, the bottom element being this radio button, and it, for every other element, it will distribute them evenly. It will like take the average amount of space, the average length, and it will distribute every other item evenly between them. So similarly, for distribute horizontally, because the center... So it'll take the leftmost item, which is the text field, and the rightmost item, which is the second radio button, and it will put this first radio button in the middle horizontally. So moving on, we have some options under more. Some of the handy options here are convert to Adobe Sign form. So this will just give you some different fields that you can add in, and we'll, we'll go more in depth with this in the Adobe Sign uh, tutorial. Mm-hmm. And then from there, we can clear the form. So if we had some data in here. So if we put some data in there, we could then just clear the form. And then we can import and export some data. So now that we have some data, we can export it to this thing called an FDF file. So this basically, this just means that you're saving the form data. It's not actually saving the PDF itself, but this is just the form data that can then be imported into this form. So you save that and say, we can actually click our reset button from last time. Remember we gave it that reset action. So we can click this to reset the form. And then we can import in this data to repopulate these fields, just like that. And finally, we can merge our data into a spreadsheet. So we can add, we can add several files together. So just like this, as a separate example from a demo I did. So we can, so we have all these files. We can export them into a report. Mm -hmm. And it opened up on my other monitor let me just show off what uh what files i just did here let me just open these up so this is a pretty basic form right here 
and you know it has these data fields first name last name date and id number so what i did was within prepare form i exported them into a csv which is comma separated values which can be viewed in excel and so you can export all these forms into a csv file and view them like this and this is a very useful thing to do if you have like a database and uh, you need to compile a lot of data from forms and put them into one single place. But yeah, we're just going to go over the distribution and tracking in a later video in part three. But until then, thanks for watching, everybody, and take care.